Okay, we're going to talk about the assembly of the uh, speed shore hydraulic system. Uh, as I touched on before, some of the pieces and parts of the strut itself, uh, this would be considered the base end, uh, this would be considered the ram end. This is your hydraulic inlet, which is a one-way hydraulic valve. This would be the barrel or extension. This is your extension pin, and uh, this would be the ram end. Uh, to assemble a uh, hydraulic uh, speed shore, it's fairly simple. Uh, if you can see on our base plates themselves, uh, the uh, base plate that goes on the uh, ram end has uh, two pins that goes in it. The base plate that goes on the base end uh, has one pin. Uh, to assemble these, pull out the locking pin. Line up the holes, slide the pins in. Make sure they're seated properly. If you can see on these pins themselves, there's a small ball bearing uh, in the end of the pin. You have to make sure that that ball bearing goes through the aluminum flange here and is keeping this pin from sliding out. Also, when you're assembling these, make sure you're putting handle side to handle side. And it's always a good practice to put your pins in both from the same direction. Would be a fully assembled um, hydraulic speed shore. As you can see, it can articulate to aid in uh, the installation of these shores. Uh, if your panels are skewed um, a, a tad, you can articulate these to get these into position. Uh, also, if you need to change out extensions uh, in the hydraulic speed shores, uh, it's a fairly simple process. All you need to do is pop your extension pin, slide the extension off, Put in your larger extension, get the holes aligned, and replace your pins. This struts are ready for installation. Uh, a few things to notice, uh, when you go to put these struts uh, into the trench, make sure that these extension pins are facing up. Uh, they do have the ball bearings, uh, as do the pins in the side, but we like to have gravity on our side, so we want these pins facing up. If they were facing down, if this strut were inverted, you could see you could run the risk of these pins dropping out and you would lose your capture on your extension.